Welcome back to Locks and Lituation, honey, sis. We in here. Do you hear me? Do you do you hear me? Check one, two, one, two. We in the place to be. What's up, kids? What's up? What's up? What's popping? You'll f be able to find every one of these podcasts on my website, www.essenceofshade.com. I'll be talking about current events. I will be talking about mental health categories and y'all also know i dig deep where i start talking about stuff that goes on with me and just open it up to you guys and making this a more secure setting so tiger lily squad if y'all ready to go let's get right into this podcast before we get anything started i like to do this in all my videos are saying affirmations because i believe that once you get your mind set and you get yourself positive you gear for the street ahead of you and the pavements that seem dusty and rusty you walk right through them with no problems eh so um today's affirmation will be to thine own self be true to thine own self be true you guys heard about this all the time i have my situations right here if you're wondering but to thine own self be true be true to yourself be honest and forthcoming with yourself don't fake the funk do what you need to do to make yourself happy when you look into the mirror you say yo i am shay boy this is me kid gang gang son you feel me so be to thine own self be true not what anybody else wants you to be first section is i love to call this rum punch because in the Caribbean, as soon as we get that rum punch, eh, we start gossiping. And what do we mostly gossip about other people, right? We don't gossip about ourselves. We gossip about other people. So right into rum punch. First thing on the docket is Gucci. Sis, I don't have anything to do with Gucci because I can't afford it. Like, I'm not going to sit here trying to fake the funk like, oh, yeah, like... I got the money, so I ain't just like I can't afford Gucci. That's why it's so easy for me to stand with them. And what do you think I'm talking about? If you don't know, you've been living under a rock. Gucci put out this sweater, fam, and I'll put it here. I don't even know if I want to do any of that. But Gucci put out this sweater where they are talking about like it's like a turtleneck and it comes up to your mouth. And it's like the red lips, like, you know, back in the days when they didn't want to hire black folks in movies, they would do blackface and then they would overdraw their lips. It would just be like a mockery to black people. So they turned around and went and did a sweater like this, sis. And then they turn around and be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I'm you know, the simple stories that they, they tell afterwards. But people like T.I. and Soldier Boy and Walk a Flock of Flings um they was like how we need to not uh support gucci anymore i think the problem is is that you you as a consumer mostly are rich or well off that are buying gucci products keep it a buck and then you flaunt it on social media so you got your people like me out here feeling like yo we need to buy that because that looks sick um you have songs gucci gang gucci gang gucci gang gucci gang you got gucci man the artist who's named after so you know you put that in our heads to make us feel like yo this is what we need to purchase this is what we need to buy now you're turning around telling me that i don't need to buy it because of this but a lot of the times you guys already knew that because you have black owned businesses who clothes look just as good probably not as expensive there's some black artists out there that black creators are out there who have them high prices ain't nobody should really checking for them they rather go the louis vuitton um route because this is what y'all post on your music video so it's kind of like back in it's kind of like mixed matchy that you turn around and you be like oh this is what you should wear don't wear this for three months. Sis, shut the hell up and just go support black businesses. 
simple and plain. If y'all know black businesses that people need to support, put that in the comment box below. Let your sis know. Let other people know. Let's get the black dollar going towards the black dollar. What y'all think? Let me know. So number two, I want to talk about the whole Cardi B winning a Grammy situation. Now, <laughs> Sis, um, I'll keep it a buck. Like a lot of people out there is like, yo, is a is a win, a one win for all. One win for one is a win for all. Hoorah, kumbaya, all that stuff. My thing is record of the year, like album, rap album of the year. That's a dub. And I guess. To chance the rapper's point is like you could listen to it from start to end. That's selective people. I like it like you better believe me when I tell you. You better believe me when I tell you. Now I got dollars, I got diamonds. I like stunning, I like shining. I like million dollar deals with my pen. Bitch, I'm signing. I like those Balenciagas, the ones that look like socks. I like going to the movies. I like rock all in my rock. I like it, it, it. That's my jam. Like that song right there, my jam. That money bag and ring, 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 ring. Like, girl, you don't hear my line no more. Uh, uh, uh. That after a while they played it a trillion times on the radio, you start to start to love these songs. But real talk, but going back to the Grammys, I felt like she could have won like best song of the year or something like that. But best rap album. People were saying Nipsey Hustle. I have not listened to that uh, album yet, so I cannot prophesy to that album. But I can say like Travis Scott, J Cole. Like, people like that have some really bangers. Like, bangers. You feel what I'm saying? And I don't feel like she should have won that particularly. And a lot of people like to bring up the whole Nicki Minaj thing. And yes, at some point, Nicki Minaj should have won a Grammy. Like, let's keep it a book. There's something going on behind the scenes as to why this queen has not won a Grammy yet. But I don't feel that because Cardi B won a Grammy, then that diminishes Nicki Minaj's uh, stance on the music industry. And a lot of people are laughing because it's like, oh, she tried to mimic Lil' Kim and Lil' Kim got a Grammy, but she has yet to get a Grammy yet. Okay, y'all. At one point, y'all gotta like let that go. That whole Lil Kim, Nicki Minaj thing, let it go. Y'all gonna dig this thing with her and Cardi into the ground. The girl posted a thing up and she said, congratulations to all winners tonight or something like that. Listen, leave that girl alone. Just because Cardi B won does not mean that Nicki Minaj is a loser. Y'all cut it out. Y'all been doing this since like elementary, that like first place uh, kickball winner. They, they the king, they the king. And a person in second place is now all of a sudden the servant. Girl, shut the hell up. I still kicked that ball far as hell. Just because I got caught and beamed in the back when I was running third doesn't mean that I'm a loser now. Cause the rest of y'all ain't even get to that point yet. Number three, Justine Sky and her abuse claims. Now, Justine, Justine Sky is a Brooklynite, big ups. She's Jamaican, big ups. So, um, yeah, I love Justine Sky. Sky. Um, her music is really popping. And I saw her at Made in America, uh, was it this year or last year? I don't remember what year it was. But yeah, she's pretty, she's pretty in person. She seems pretty dope. She used to be best friends with uh, Kylie Jenner. I don't think she's, I don't know if they're friends anymore. I have no idea. Cause I heard that she dated Travis Scott and then Kylie Dre dated Travis Scott and then they got, uh, it is a lot. But anyways, she made, did an interview on a breakfast club where she spoke about being abused and how she, uh, she could, but she spoke about this several years before she just didn't want to list the person and the reason why she said she didn't want to is because in the music industry 
uh, when men abuse women, they don't take that too serious. They like make songs about it and shit like that. So people don't take it serious. And then somebody uh, on her Twitter account or somebody somewhere mentioned a specific person that she used to date. And then now it, they're going like back and forth. The guy's making excuses. She's saying why she didn't go to the cops. And a lot of times people, the first thing they ask is why didn't you go to the cop? A person who dealt in abuse herself, that's the last thing you're worried about, believe it or not. And when you're really in love with the person, I tell you one thing, you do not want to get them in trouble. You want them to stop hurting you and you're embarrassed to even tell friends and family, much less Babylon, about what's happening and you really don't want to get them in trouble. So, and uh, other times you think people won't even believe you. So when a lot of people are like, oh, with the Me Too mu movement too, a lot of people are like, why can't folks just speak up? It's easier said than done. I just put it that way. When you're in a situation, it's easier said than done. Uh, it's easier said than done. I'll just kind of leave it like that. Like you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. You shouldn't tell a girl that she's lying because she took a year and a half to talk about her assault. It's her assault. It's not yours. Sis. Stop judging people. Tech way yourself. <laughs> this topic had me weak in the knees when I saw it on the shade room because I was like, yo, what, what's really been going on with homeboy? Because nobody been talking about him. Like, everybody's just been really mute once he went to jail. And I'm talking about Bill Cosby. Like, woo, that's a, woo. That's a killer, man. Um... They were talking about Bill Cosby and somebody uh, interviewed Bill Cosby at the jail cell or his lawyer or somebody. I don't remember. Um, but they were just like, how is your experience thus far? And homeboy said, without a shadow of a doubt, with all the fiber in his being, with all the juices flowing in his soul, Mr. Cosby fixed his lips to say it was awesome. Now, Sir Cosby is having a grand old time, honey bunches of oats, to turn around and talk about jail is awesome. What y'all out there doing? Yoga, Pilates, Netflix, and chilling. What y'all doing talking about jail is awesome? Yeah, sit your 87 year old behind down talking about awesome. What? Are we even learning our lesson at that point? If it's so awesome, what you doing? Cause I ain't never hear nobody while you ask them how they jail time is doing. So I'm saying it's great, fantabulous, yes, jail. What? No. <laughs> Anyways, so that is rum punch. If you guys have any other thoughts about the comments that I made, put it down in the description box below. It's sweeter than meat. Next, we will go on to Aki and Saltfish. The reason why I say Aki and Saltfish because, listen, uh, saltfish is a fatty acid, eh? Saltfish can help boost feelings of mental health, wellness, and reduce levels of anxiety. I wrote this down. Saltfish is an omega-3. Aki and Saltfish, mental health, stimuli. Is it coming together? You see what I did there? Mixing food and thing. Is it coming together? Yes, so yeah. So in this discussion of mental health, we're going to be talking about lonely loneliness. So a lot of people suffer with this, including myself. And for all who does it, who don't know, I just recently moved to Dallas by myself. I don't know anybody here. And it was a big deal for me because I'm so surrounded always so used to being surrounded by family and people that I call friends um so I never really been by myself you know um not to just talking about relationships just meaning my myself in my space in my zone uh, that's never happened to me so it sent me down a really bad spiral of depression because I already 
um, deal with depression on top of it. So being alone and not being comfortable with yourself is what causes loneliness. Being lonely and loneliness and feeling alone is two different things. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing that I want to grasp at people is that it will take you a very long time if you don't take the proper steps to understand what this is and stop running from it and seeking solace from other people. It's going to take you forever and a day. Trust me, your girl is there. Listen, face it. Face what it is. Look yourself in the mirror and be like, listen, what about me I can't fathom just being alone, like just sitting with myself. What about me makes me not being not able to do that? Please. What about me do I not like? What about me uh, irritates me? What about me do people complain about? Have that time to sit down and really grasp what's going on because I tell you one thing, if you cannot look to thy own self be true, if you cannot look in the mirror and respect what you see, if you cannot sit with your own thoughts, if you can't sit on your bed and watch TV and not be like, damn, I wish somebody was right next to me cuddling and da da da. If you can't do that, then there's, there's a serious issue. A lot of times people feel like, but you need to have people around. It's great to have folks around, but if you can't f breathe or you can't live with people around you, that's a serious issue. You cannot be with yourself. There's something about sitting alone that terrifies you, that causes anxiety, which was, will be another video about anxiety. There's something that you are running away from dealing with yourself. And it's time for you to sit down and face what that is. A lot of times it's hard for us to sit down and be like, yo, this is what's wrong with me and this is what I need to fix. But are we actually strong enough to fix it? Are we actually being honest with ourselves about what it is that really needs to be fixed? Loneliness is something really severe and causes a lot of people to be depressed, causes a lot of people to stay in situations and relationships that they have no business in. It causes a lot of people to do things just to have people around that don't even need to be in their circumference. Figure out if you are suffering this and if you are, figure out why. Dig deep, journal girl, journal sis. Do what you gotta do and get yourself out that funk because you, wanna, you don't wanna be 20 years from now and a blink of an eye wondering why the f blouse and skirts am I with this person or I am settling with this behavior why why think about it next up business of the week i haven't come up with a good caribbean thing for this yet but this is the category where i like to shout out up and coming small businesses i just like to give them some shout out because a lot of people out here are doing their thing and a lot of y'all do not know about it so i know i have a lot of kings watching my videos hey kings how you doing, boo? Um, so if you guys are ever wondering, looking for a tailor or a person to make you custom suits, I have a good friend of mine's, good friend of mine's who does custom suits. He works with NFL players. I think he works with like men, uh, speakers and stuff like that. But I know he really works with NFL, like professional NFL players. And his business is called JC Scott. I'll put his link or his um, information right here for you to see. His suits are dope. They're all custom made. You either go to him or he comes to you. He measures you out. He has a whole thing, books and books of like different materials, linings. He does ties and I think he just does shirts. He hasn't started the ties yet where I told it. Jay, if you're listening, start your ties. Um, yeah, but if you guys are ever in need, women too, he's starting to do women's suits. I'm going to get one custom made for my birthday. I cannot wait. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, yeah, but I'm super proud of him. He took a leap of faith last year and has been fully entrepreneur for about two years now. Am I saying that wrong, Jay? 
two years if you're watching this put in the comment box below but he's super dope super dope super dope big up big up my peoples <laughs> so not last but not least is let's make some fry dumpling eh? so you know when you're in the kitchen and you're making fried dumpling you start talking about your life and you start talking about how your week been because you're needing the dough and thing you need you're flipping it and you're needing it and you're needing it and you're needing it yeah so that's when things get a little deep and this is where i talk about me or if i have a co-host we bounce off each other and we talk about each other what's going on but in this category i wanted to talk to you about money so money has been the bane of my existence. Money has always been a negative thing for me. It's never been a positive topic. Um, and I think after reading, or uh, well, still reading Manifestation, I'm realizing because of my thoughts on money is why money has been so hard for me to obtain. So I always thought in my head, just off the back, that money only was for rich people and I could never get to their level. I always felt with money as well that I had to pretend that I had it even though I didn't. Which means well, I will go buy a whole bunch of clothes that I really didn't want or need at the moment. I'll, I'll buy shoes that probably were too small for me, but that's the only size they had. So I wanted to be fleeky and then get mess up my feet and hurt my toes and mess up the bottom of my foot because it look all broke up because I'm wearing all kind of tight top shoes and thing uh, you know what I mean like I go get credit cards knowing that I don't know and I'm not that educated back then on credit cards and pay making payments and interest and all that just to keep up with the Joneses so it put me in uh, severe debt and it ruined my credit and um it just put me in a weird, weird space. And it made me really depressed because now I just feel like, am I ever gonna get to that monumentous note where I look at my bank account and it's not living paycheck to paycheck. I am not looking at my credit score and be like, yo, what the freak, yo? And um, so yeah, money, Money has always been like a taboo subject for me. And I don't know about you, but I just always felt like that's one subject I never wanted to talk about. I never wanted to talk about how much debt I was in. I'm, let me just act like I'm balling and then people, ah, she's social media person. People probably think she got money in the bank. It's far from the case. Like I'm starting to fix my credit again and looking for different for and starting to have different forms of income coming in instead of it just being from one outlet so it's better than it was um a few years ago i still have many many improvements to make but the thing that i want to talk to people about money is is that yes money can cause depression there was a time where i just felt like listen i just don't even care no more like at this point in the game does it even matter like i just rather just like go release myself from all the nonsense and just just be over it and then in the back of my head i'm like two things will either happen if i go one my mom will be stuck with all my bills to pay or she'll get my insurance money and she can use it to pay off my debt Cause isn't that crazy like when you die your debt goes to your family your debt just doesn't go away it's not bananas and that's what i was thinking like money has just not been a good friend of mine and i just had to realize your mental state causes your life what you think is what you bring in what you put out there is what comes back to you so if i keep thinking that money is just not my friend she won't be my friend sis <laughs> but if i think that money surrounds me money comes to me freely and openly money i'm i'm financially abundant if i keep having these thoughts and actually believe them i'll start to see changes i'll start to see different things and that's what i want to say to you guys too like student loans you can't help 
I mean, you can help it if you don't go to school. But credit cards, you can't help. You're, put, you're putting yourself in that problem by adding, 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 and not subtracting, subtracting, subtracting. You know what I'm saying? So look, we have to have a different conversation with money and we have to educate ourselves so the next generation or the person after us is not following the same trend. And we can also help ourselves get out of this funk. All right. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Locks and Lituation, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave comments below for your girl. And I will see y'all next week. Bye. Peace and blessings to you. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the curb.